hi hello welcome to education monade channel today i am going to discuss ninth mathematics that is third chapter that polynomials in this one let we start with the learning outcome 3 acquire the ability to identify classify the polynomials in the given algebraic expressions and factorizes using suitable identities that means first we are going to define that what is polynomials what is polynomials means poly means many nominal means terms the expression will have many terms is called as a polynomials in that one they are given here the using degree of the polynomial we can classify the monomial binomial trinomial and polynomials then he also constant polynomials some does not belongs to the any of these we have to check like that first the activity let me start with activity 3.1 classify the following into different polynomials here look at the first one what is monomial anybody what is monomial yes monomial means an expression will have only one term one term is called as a monomial binomial means an expression will have two terms is called as a binomial an expression will have three terms is called as a trinomials then more than three terms means we can call it as a polynomials someone will have the constant value that is constants the numbers that is called as a constant polynomial let me start with the activity 3.1 see this is what we call this one as trinomial correct this is the we can say polynomial polynomial this is uh, we have to take pi is not a constant but we have to write here pi here okay we have to write here pi next this is binomial where we, we have to write here binomial okay next then it is monomial we can write x cube then 4 is there 4 means it is constant then 5 y cube minus 4 y square means it is a binomial binomial 5 y cube minus 4 y square it is binomial then what we call this is as it is polynomials we can take it is polynomials 25 p to the power of 4 minus 36 p cube minus 15 p square my plus 12 p then minus 15 this is we can say polynomial okay polynomial this is we can constant like this is monomial this is constant polynomial i will try to see this is binomial this is monomial then this is again see that we can simplify we get here what we call this is s x square like that will get you can write it is the degree is 2 is there that's why we can write here sometime we can uh, read it has a does not belongs to any other term we can write here also x plus 1 by x then this is also we can write here root 2x plus 1 by 2 x square then it is as correct this is the binomial binomial then here trinomial then it is trinomial then it is binomial as polynomials it is clear yes an expression will have only one term means it is called as a monomial expression will have two terms means binomial expression will have uh, three terms means trinomial and expression will have three of many terms means polynomial okay let me start next one okay what is the conclusion in a mono number of turns in a monomial is one see number of turns in a binomial means two polynomials will have three terms is called as a what we call trinomial as yes. trinomial trinomial there define constant polynomial what is good to constant polynomials a polynomial a polynomial a polynomial have have only only constant we have to say only constants constants is called is called constant constant polynomial is called constant polynomial okay yes let me start next activity 
that is activity 3.2 degree of a polynomial and its formation okay see p of x is equal to 3x minus 2 it is what is the degree of polynomial here 1 highest power we can say variable 1 is there then degree is 1 then here um, the highest power of the variable how much is there 2 then degree is 2 then here see highest power we can say it here this is 3 then how we what we call degree of equation is 3 then again this one will have 5 here also we can write 5 then here what is the highest power of the variable s yes, 22 then we can write degree is 22 then here see highest power of the variable is 3 then s yes, degree is 3 then we can write here a to the power of 4 is there a to the power of 4 means we can write the highest degree 4 then degree is also 4 then we can write the polynomial see there 8 degree is 8 is there means highest power is also 8 i will take this is p of x is equal to x to the power of 8 minus okay 16 that is we can write like this also right next degree is 13 is there then highest power is also 13 then how we have to write if p of x is equal to x to the power of 13 minus x square plus 24 we can write like this then here degree is 5 is given the highest power of the variable is s5 then write the equation means we can write like this i will take here t to the power of 5 minus t to the power of 4 plus 8 we can write like this okay next one see we can write any degree and any polynomial i will take the very simple then p of x equals p of x is equal to x square minus 4 then what is the highest power 2 will have then here we can write 2 again p of x is equal to x cube minus x to the power of 4 plus 8 means here degree is highest power is 4 degree is 4 like this we can continue yes what is that what is the conclusion means if the highest power of the variable is n then the degree of the polynomial is s n only correct it is right yes next activity next activity what is that activity 3.3 relationship between degree of polynomials and its zeros degree of the polynomials and its zeros for example they are given here this equation will have the degree of the polynomial highest degree is 1 then what is the zeros of the polynomial means we can write only 1 how it will it will have only degree 1 will have means it will get the value it is only 1 okay next one they are given we can discuss that one p of x equals 5x minus 10 5x minus 10 means it is the degree is 1 is there then zeros zeros of the polynomial yes 1 is maximum number of zeros is how much is there 1 only yes here 2n plus 2 what is the degree yes 1 then zeros 1 and maximum number of zeros is 1 only then a square minus 16 what is the degree here 2 we can write 2 then zeros 2 and maximum number of zeros is 2 only here x square plus 5x plus 6 what is the degree s yes, 2 is there and then zeros 2 only maximum number of zeros is 2 what is that zeros means x value will get 2 here that's why they are we can say zeros okay then i will take x, x cube minus 3 x square minus 6 plus 3 yes how we have to define here see x to the power degree is 3 is there then s zeros is how much is there 3 and maximum number of zeros is 3 only yes here take the another one p of x is equal to 2x to the power of 4 minus 3x cube minus 3x square plus 6x minus 2 here what is the degree degree highest power is what we call here s4 then zeros we can write 4 only because x to the power of 4 is there that's why we can return 4 yes then what is the conclusion of this one 
the number of zeros linear polynomial is 1. Maximum number of zeros in a quadratic polynomial is 2. Quadratic means 2. Degree and the maximum zeros in a cubic polynomial is see degree is 3 and zeros is 3 only. The maximum zeros of any polynomial is always how much is there? Always we can write equal. The maximum zeros of any polynomial is always equal. Zeros and poly. Okay. If n is the degree of the polynomial p of x, then the maximum number of is polynomial zeros of this polynomial is s correct s n. We can write n right. Then I will take next activity that is 3.4. Finding the zeros of the given polynomial by graphical method. Graphical method. How we have to write? p of x is equal to x plus 5 is there. Then if you take x value 1 means 1 plus 5 means we can write here p of 1 means s we have to put the 1 for x then we get here 6. Then x is equal to 2 means p of 2 equals 2 plus 5 7. Then x value is 3 is the 3 means 3 plus 5 3 plus 5 how much 8. If x is equal to 0 we can get here 5. This is the zeros of a given polynomials. Let me start again. x is equal to minus 1 they are given minus 1. Then what is the equation? S x plus 5. x plus 5 is there. x plus 5 in x plus 5 means p of minus 1. minus 1 plus 5 means we can write here plus 4. x equals to minus 2 plus 5 means s 3 minus 5 plus 5 means 0 is correct like this we are going to discuss you can write here this is by using here what is the conclusion by inspecting method see there zeros of the polynomial p of x equals x plus 5 is we goes on writing what is that we can write the values here see one they are given what is the answer s 6 7 8 if it is 0 means 5 minus 1 means 4 correct then 3 then 3 plus minus 3 plus 5 means s2 will comes then 1 comma 6 2 comma 7 3 comma 8 0 comma 5 minus 1 comma 4 minus 2 comma 3 minus 3 comma 2 we can represent by using this one in graph okay graph we can write within within a graph okay i will continue in the next class yes if you like this video please share and subscribe thank you